Today is the day I show you a video of myself skinning a panel. It's also the day I drop a collection of UV map templates for DSL. So let's skin that panel. Thank you. So here's the robots I'm going to be skinning to show you how to skin parts today. These panels here are what I'm going to skin in this tutorial. So let's just exit out of RA2 to start things off. Then we're going to go into the Teams folder, find the robot spot file. It'll be for me Team 7 Bot 0. I'm going to scroll down to the list of parts, find out the file name for the text file of the parts. So here, components styles IRL arm ALU black P4080.txt. So, we're going to go into the components folder and locate the file. Since it has styles in the file path, it will be in the styles folder. So, we scroll down to the IRL pack panels. And there it is. I've already got this in the folder, so I don't need to do that. I've got all the files ready for me to show you what to do, so we're going to go there now. So first I'm going to do the texture. So I'm going to go into the maps folder. This IRL on black texture I'm going to rename. And then open it in paint.net. Resize to 1024 by 1024. And create another level layer. This is where I grab a UV map template of the part. I've got it saved on my PC here. Or you can find it in the collection of UV map templates for DSL, which you can now find linked in the description. So you copy paste that over the top. And I've got this decal for the name. So we're going to create another layer for that. I'm actually going to resize this first. So it will fit within this rectangle which is either side of the panel. There we go. Just going to quickly measure the size of... So it will be 820 by 410. So grab the... In fact I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees so it doesn't show upside down on the robot because I've used an attachment point on the this side at the top. So now I'm going to paste it onto this layer. So this is where we look at the coords. So 410 is going to be 614 for the top of this bit which we're getting this in. So we're going to want, so I'm going to line it up. So after doing some calculations in my head, I concluded that the selection top left down here needs to say 10661, so I've lined this up there. That's bang in the center of the panel now. So I'm just going to press enter there, delete the layer with the UV map, merge down, and then save. Make sure it's a 24-bit bitmap. Don't you leave us on auto detect, select 24 bit, then click OK. Now that's done. Oh yes, one thing I forgot to mention is before you go into the skinning, you might want to just open up the text file, find the directory and the model. So you're going to go want to go into components slash IRL armor and pick out IRL arm ALU black p4080.gmf and there it is but i've already got this in there in the backup folder so you're going to want to copy paste compiled gmfs of the parts you're going to skin into a backup folder then you're going to want to use the gmf decompiler and decompile them into a decomp folder Like that. I'll also link the compiler and decompiler in the description. So now you're going to want to open the GMF in Notepad++, find the texture in the material, and then go to bitmap 
and you're going to want to re change this to the name of the texture file like that save and then go into the compiler select the GMF up into the main folder for the directory and save the compiled GMF with your skin into there. Do note that you'll need to put .gmf on the end of the file name in this box when using the compiler and decompiler otherwise it will just save as a, a file with no type for some reason I don't know it's supposed to save as gmfs but you need to do that. Bang! Now you're going to text file I'm just going to rename this I'm going to change the name of the part the directory will need to be changed to what the folder it's in is all the files with gmf maps that kind of stuff then the model will need to be the file name of the gmf preview you can make a preview pick to display in botlab for as a preview of what the part is i'll go over that after i've put the parts onto the robot So I just name it to what the file is going to be. Then description you can change. And if you want it to be like hidden or cheap bot 2 you can just add hidden equals 1 for completion and then 2 for cheap bot 2. I'm just not going to bother with this one so I can show you a little something of how you can put the parts on. And also stats like this standard hit points, fracture mass, piercing concussion, that sort of stuff. Don't switch those. Those need to stay the same as the original part. Okay, so now save. Now what I'm going to do is grab these two files, copy, paste into this fo components folder, then also select the folder I just copied them out of copy all three, paste into the games components folder then I'm going to go back into this folder grab this text file because it's in a styles menu it's a part in the styles menu and paste that into styles now I'm going to go back into the game see you when I'm back in there okay now I'm back in the bot lab on the robot I just skinned that part for now before adding the part to the robot I'm going to go into the parts tab and just go check on the parts I've just skinned. Well shit. Okay so I'm back. It turns out I'd forgot to change the model in the text file for the disk into to the file name the skins gmf. I've done that now. So yeah that's all happen if it can't find like the model that the, the text file is telling it to grab. The game will just crash. So let's see. Now it works. And the tooth. Yep. Now I'm going to look for the panel I skin. Yep. There we go. Everything works. So now is putting the parts onto the robot. Now one thing you can do is do it by hand in BotLab. Which I'm going to do with the disc and teeth here. So you remove these parts. And then you go to the part in BotLab. and add that in the place of those parts. So just like that. Now the other way you can do it is by BFE. So for this you're going to want to go back into the bot file and as I'm going to do with the panels just change the text here from the file name of the on-skin part to the file name of the skin part. Make sure the robot you're doing this to isn't open in BotLab while doing BFE, otherwise it won't work. So then you save that and go back into the robots in BotLab. And that's it. So now let's get on to the preview pick of the robot. So I'm going to get a, take this picture of the robot. I'm going to grab a backdrop. Then take the screenshot. 
or face lessons paint.net remove the background make sure the whole thing's gone then for the preview pick I have this preview pick template which I'm going to add another layer to select the robot in this screenshot copy paste onto that new layer of the preview pick and resize to fit inside I just merge all layers or flatten and then save it into the robots directory as the a BMP 24 bit BMP again with the file name I entered into the text files. Oh well, that's it. So thanks for watching this and I'll be back with another tutorial next week.